Hey, how's it going? Richard Mathrew here. Are you a digital agency owner looking for some tips and strategies that are working right now to grow that agency that you own? If you are, I made that sentence way more complicated than it needs to be, right? You're an owner of a digital agency and you wanna grow it. That's what this training is about, right? Uh, I don't teach anything unless it's proven on myself and my clients. So this isn't guesswork. This is exactly what I'm using right now with my clients and myself. It's working. So I'm gonna open my laptop up right now. I'm gonna share the screen with you. We're gonna do some good work and hopefully you find it useful. And if at any point in time you're like, yeah, I like this guy's training. I'd like more from him. I'd like to learn more. Uh, then you're welcome to join my free Facebook group. Nothing for sale, just a group uh, of clients of mine and coaches who I've been able to provide a lot of value to, uh, you'll see the link up in the corner or it's uh, underneath in the description area. Feel free to join that group and I can give you some more guidance, ideas and help. Anyway, we got work to do, so let's crack open the laptop and let's get straight to it. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. I wanna help you scale your agency. I've got one, two, three, I've got four ways that we can do that, four pieces of information. Um, so let, let me just dive into that. So first things first, okay, You've got to really understand that when you're comparing yourself to other really big agencies, that what a lot of them are showing you, you know, if you're looking at a mega box agency, right? Someone like, like a Gary V, okay, has a massive agency, okay? Don't think about what they're doing now as what's going to work for you in your business, okay? So this is you. Think about like Gary's V story, okay? Do you know how he got success? His, um, his father owned a wine business and he wanted to increase sales. So Gary was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create, I think it was Wine Library TV. So he created like a, a video review show where he would talk about the different wines and uh, he would say, hey, and you can order these online or buy them from our shop. So it increased sales. I think he 5 x or something sales. If you read his book, Crush It, he talks about it in there, which is where I learned about it. And so that what happened was Gary went from someone who was just you know, using video technology to grow his own family business, people suddenly saw these results and was like, hey, you know, can you, can you teach me how to do this? Like, how do I increase sales using video and social media? And that's how his agency began. He began consulting and helping other people off the back of his own individual results. Now, does he do the same type of thing now as he did back then? Is he still doing wine TV? I think he actually reintroduced this to his business recently, but for years he didn't. For years he was getting millions of views on video, still is now, all sorts of different tactics that wouldn't work for you. So be very mindful about when you're actually looking to scale your agency, that you understand, if I just clear this frame, that you understand the people who you're chasing, what worked for them then versus now, when they were similar to you. What were the methods that they used to build their success, not maintain and scale it? Because unless you're doing millions and millions and millions in sales, there's no point looking at Gary Vee and saying, well, let me copy his business model or copy his tactics. That's often where the disconnect is. Why is it not working for me? Well, because it's you, because that person's 10 years down the track. So start to really understand that. And one of the ways that you can do that is by being brave with your actual, with your actual audience, your niche, okay? You want to be specific. Specificity. There is a million and one Facebook ads agencies, right? If that's what you do. Why you? Why your agency? Like what specific type of campaign do you run? What specific type of client do you look for? Otherwise, you're just the same as everybody else and it's a bloodbath out there, right? If you're offering whatever your service, whatever, whatever it is that you're offering in your agency, right? Whatever the service is, you need people to really understand. I'll give you an example to really highlight. I hope you remember this. I, I write these things down and give you examples so that whenever you feel like making these mistakes, you go, oh, that video of Richards, yeah, I, yeah, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do this instead. So I used to own a health and fitness club, okay? I used to own a health and fitness club and we decided to advertise a fitness class, okay? And on this fitness class, the kind of the, the spiel we gave was like, everybody's welcome, we're fully full qualified trainers, so we can adapt this session to whatever you need. Guess what happened? Nobody showed. Literally nobody signed up for it. I was like, why is that not working? And what I did instead was, I created two classes. Instead of this one being an hour class, we created two 30 minute classes. This one, number one, was for beginners. 
and class number two was for advanced. So instead we said, hey, listen, if you're zero to sort of three months in, this is for you, okay? Totally beginner friendly, only a beginner's in here. Once you get past three months, you go to class number two. And only if you really want to like take it to the next level. So class number two is a high intensity workout. We're going to push you. Class number one is gentle. Go at your own pace. We filled both of these classes. Both of these classes filled up because people saw, okay, that's specifically for me. I don't wanna waste my time, waste my money, waste my effort. Your clients don't either. So you can broaden out your offering, you can broaden out your audience when you become like a Gary Vee. When you start getting masses of results, masses of clients, you can then leverage that proof and say, hey, there's different aspects and different businesses we can grow into. But right now, pick a particular type of client, pick a particular type of result and particular benefit feature, you know, whatever it is in your service and go really deep with that. Don't keep trying to like dig 25 little minor, you know, 10 centimeter holes. You'll never discover the treasure. Dive and drive some real depth, drive some real depth in your business. Become an expert, become a specialist and watch what happens. That's my advice. Number one for scaling your agency. Number two, everyone overlooks this, right? Yes, of course, you've got to get better at marketing. But right now, you, I'm sure you'll agree. There's a massive amount of people who are way better at marketing than their actual craft. Got to be careful how I do that F. There we go, <laughs> craft, okay? So be, become someone who is actually, this, this when we do in math, this means greater than, this means greater or equal to. So this is equals. You want to be equal in these areas, okay? You want to be amazing at marketing because of course, if no one gets to see or hear about your agency, doesn't matter how good it is, no one's going to ever get to see it, but also, we want to make sure that when someone, you do a stellar job at selling your agency, your product, your service, when they come in, they're blown away. You want to ask yourself the question, okay? Okay, if I was a client of mine, what I want to shout about these results? What I want to shout about this service? What can you do? Like what little gifts? What little perks? How can you show your members, your clients that you've got their back? Okay. I use this term all the time with my clients. Hey, I've got your back because I have. What do I do? If they shoot a question over to me, I record like an individual audio message and, and give them the solution as opposed to just a pre-printed whatever. That's one way I've got their back. They know they're going to get help and guidance. What else do I do? When they become a client of mine, I send them cool stuff. Okay, there's gifts, there's cards. In my high-end programs, they get a whole bunch of gifts from me. Books, just a whole bunch of stuff. Perks. You know, perks, individual time with, you know, there's all sorts of things that you can do in your agency and say, you know what, ask yourself the question, what kind of gifts could you offer that wouldn't really impact your profit margin? What kind of perks can you give? Have you got their back? Do they really feel like you're on their side? Okay, because it's easy to make a sale when you're good at marketing, but play the long game. Start to really, if you're going to specialize in anything, specialize in mastering your craft getting really good at delivering an amazing service. Because you know what happens? The better you get at this, the easier this becomes. Because these people do your marketing for you. I get loads of people, hey, so-and-so recommended me, so-and-so recommended me. Like they're getting, you know, I've got a buddy Mike, client. He's getting 30,000 views on YouTube now, moved to Southeast Asia, building an amazing life and business. Do you not think a whole bunch of people came through Mike? I saw Mike result, then chat with Mike. I want you to do, do the same in my business, Richard. Help me grow my business. Help me make my service and product you know, super marketable. How, how can I get people to, to pay attention to that and to, and to buy? And all from that one, because I, I took pride in my work with Mike. If I hadn't, you know, yeah, okay, I'd have made that one sale, but do I really want to exchange reputation and ethics for money? You should never want to do that, okay? So marketing can't hide, you know, rubbish craft, not in the long term for sure. So that's, that's the next thing, okay? I've got... Two more, two more for you, okay? So you need to understand, if you want to scale your agency, you need to understand and focus on the areas that actually create results. And that is interest, I'll put I-N-T. That is C-O-N-V. That is D-L. And that is S-Y-S. So first of all, interest generation. Leads. Are you focused on the kind of people that you're attracting? And are you focused on the volume of that? You need to really make sure that you can master that. Pick some methods that you're going to use. My favorites, YouTube, podcast, uh, Facebook ads. Conversions. You create the leads. 
how do we take that interest and now turn it into actual revenue? Do you have a mechanism in place, a predictable mechanism, scripts, a pathway where you know, okay, if this person answers this way, they go into this mechanism. And this is what the steps that they're walked through. This is how we take someone from a lead to an actual client, okay? Then delivery, we just spoke about that. Do you offer a great service, okay? And then systems. If you don't systemize this, what's going to happen is you're going to get a bottleneck, okay? Somewhere around here. It could be leads, it could be conversions, it could be delivery. You're going to reach a bottleneck and now you've got this demand building up and you're like, this is going to be frustrating for you. You're going to leave money on the table. You're going to leave results on the table. You're going to leave happy clients unhappy because there's a bottleneck on any of these things. So begin with the end in mind. How are you going to systemize the delivery of what you offer? How are you going to systemize the conversions? How are you going to systemize the generation of interest? Because if you don't, there's going to be a bottleneck. These are some really important questions to answer. To give you a little bit of a heads up and a bit of extra help, you know, this would be using something like ads or passive marketing. So you don't have to be there to generate their interest. This would be using some type of funnel. Okay, I have a particular conversion mechanism. Works like clockwork, doesn't require much of my personal attention. The delivery, what happens on the welcome call? What happens step one, step two, step three? Have a process, have a document. Don't bang your table with your hand, but have a process, have a document where everybody involved, even, even if it's just you, you know, have a CEO mentality of the process you put your, uh, you know, your new clients through. These are all ways you can systemize and avoid this bottleneck. So I think that's it. I think I'm done, okay? Because if you, if you scale, this, here's the final piece of advice, okay? If you scale this, and you have a bottleneck, all you do is just scale your problems, okay? All that people say, I want to scale. Scale what? We don't want to scale problems. <laughs> we want to scale profit, okay? This is why I'm teaching you what I'm teaching you. If you've got issues in your agency right now with any of these areas that are on the screen, don't try and scale yet because you're just going to scale a lead generation problem or a conversion problem or a delivery problem. Make sure these three areas are taken care of or systemized as much as you wish them to be, then start to implement what I've spoken to you about. Then start to improve your marketing. Then start to improve, you know, how becoming a specialist, focusing on those areas, right? Otherwise, you're just going to scale your problems. And this is what people don't often teach you in the trenches. Yeah, come and scale your business with me. You're like, hang on a minute. That's broke. It's like, I can, I can teach you a car how to do twice the speed. Yeah, but it's missing a wheel. It's just going to be a bigger accident. So bear that in mind before you begin to scale anything. Don't scale the problems. Hopefully this was good advice. Was it useful? Was it helpful? If it was, I struggled through with my new little notepad here. I'm getting, I'm getting better, aren't I? If you watch my videos, I'm getting a little bit better at this. Hopefully it helps. I just think it helps you stick and it helps me get my thoughts out. I want to give it to you straight. Shoot a like. Give me a comment if you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, I'll definitely see you on the next one. And if you are a coach, agency, or, or course provider, you get a ton of value, I believe, in my uh, free Facebook group little eye in the corner there or the links in the description. I'd love to see you over there. I give away bonus trainings. I pop up and do live sessions. I do Q&A. And when you join that group, I'll reach out and welcome you personally. So if you did want to ask me something individually about your business, there's a great opportunity for you to do that for free. I take time out of my day every day to get back to people individually. So hopefully I will see you over then. I'll speak to you soon. As I always say, go create a day in a life that counts always have more desires and excuses. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day and bye for now.